Well, school may be out for the summer, but learning is continuing in a big way. 1,200 students gathered for a jubilee to celebrate summer learning last week. WBTV's Dedrick Russell has that story and the student's special guest in this morning's School Zone report. These students came to make some noise about Freedom School. Freedom School is making a difference. It's so important because summer learning loss is the biggest reason for the achievement gap and many low-income children lose up to half of a school year learning in the summer. The focus this year and every year is literacy. We are making it possible for children to return to school better readers. To help drive that point home was 1984 Olympic winner Bonnie St. John. She was the guest speaker. She is the first African-American ever to to win a medal in ski racing and she did it with one leg and boy does she have a story to tell i lost my leg when i was five years old my father left before i was born i was abused as a child and i got through it and i was able to win olympic medals and go to college and work for the president of the united states and i want to give them that message that anything is possible it doesn't matter where you start it's where you end up that counts st john says reading helped her find scholarships to get money to go to college. My mother always told me everything you want to know is in a book somewhere and that makes anything possible. Students now say they know the benefits of reading. It's real fun. Administrators say more students need this free summer learning opportunity. They say there are about 50,000 students in Charlotte who can't afford to enroll into a summer program like this. Our collective future depends on all of our children growing up to be the people they were created to be. For the School Zone Report at the NASCAR Hall of Fame, Dedrick Russell, WBTV, on your side. Now the community raises the money so Freedom Schools can be free to the 1,200 inner city students who participate. It takes about $2 million a year to fund that program.